Hello everyone, I'm Robert Rigby and welcome to William Fleming High School's electronic music concert. I've been teaching electronic music composition and production for three years here in Roanoke. William Fleming High School's electronic music classroom has been serving students of all musical backgrounds, from those who have participated in band, orchestra, and choir, to students who have never played any instruments before. This year, over 100 students participated in the electronic music program. This is only our second concert ever in our short history of the program. With this performance, we will be performing a hybrid style where you will see these young musicians present work as part of a class or at the students' homes. You will hear different genres composed and performed entirely by high school students. Most importantly, unlike a band, choir, or an orchestra concert, you may cheer at any time during the performance. A special thank you must go out to the parents that insist on arts education in their children's lives so that they can grow to be fully and educated, sophisticated human beings. It is your help and encouragement that allows these students to be creative and expressive people. Thank you to the amazing, talented, and dedicated students. You inspire me with your creativity, innovation, and courage to put yourself out there to the world. Keep creating and know that your musical voice does make a difference. Tonight, we celebrate a year of mystery, perseverance, patience, and hope. These students, through everything we have gone through, made this concert happen. We recognize their achievements and give thanks to the organization Save the Music and Song Farm. Their over $50,000 grant to this school made a concert like this happen. Please enjoy the performance as we welcome the first song, Our Year, created by Amalik Wallace and Robert Rigby. Thank you.
my name is Nathan Shorter and this is my first year in the electronic music class. I made this to be a chill, relaxing, easygoing beat in the lo-fi style. I hope you enjoy my lo-fi vibes. Thank you. Hi, my name is Seth Lindsay. I'm a junior guitarist. This whole year for me has been very tough. I haven't spent a single minute in the school building due to COVID keeping us all indoors. I wrote this song because uh, music is the best way for me to kind of like express how I'm feeling that day or that week or that month, really. <laughs> this is Moody Blues.
My name is Jana Moyer. I am a junior here, and I've been in this program for two years now. It has been a blast, especially this year with Save the Music coming in and giving us our equipment, and so many opportunities have come from that. First and foremost, I would like to kind of address just kind of the hardships that this year has given for all of us. We have definitely brought our A game and we've had to go outside of the box in so many ways. If there's one thing I've learned about these underclassmen and even my upperclassmen like usual is that we're pretty good about getting past many obstacles. Because no matter what, not even the whole pandemic will stop creativity from happening within Fleming students and especially students from this program. I will be playing my first song which is called Not Fair. It is very Radiohead inspired, based off of the, a Radiohead song, off of, I'm pretty sure it's our fourth LP. It's called How to Disappear Completely. It's a very melancholic song, and that's the kind of vibe that I give in this song. I use metaphors in the mountains and a lake as this man trying to find beauty in his lifetime and never finds it. Last song is I Am Legend. I Am Legend is the culmination of the excellence that I've been able to bring out this year. I love this song to death. It would not have been possible without Save the Music offering me my iPad to make good effects. It's just an incredible song and I can't wait for you all to hear it. It is my most upbeat song. Hopefully you like what I have cooking up.
is Chris Nelson. I'm a senior, class of 2021. I'm gonna explain what my songs are. My first song, Compromise, I made this last year in December. And December was a really hard time for me and my family. We was dealing with a couple of things and it got to me mentally. So for me, music is a way for me to express that. Then my second one, I made a remix for Song Farm. Um, my family is originally from the country, so Galax, Virginia. So what I did, I tried to take a country song and transform it into a trap song because trap is what's mostly played in the city. So I just wanted to show a representation of what our transition was from the country to the city. So I hope y'all enjoy. <laughs>
Our last student to perform this evening is Ari Spencer. Ari is in 10th grade and has been in the program only this year. However, he is one of those students who has been using this software for years. He has mastered the art of sampling and taking songs to a whole different level. This evening, you will hear just a taste of his over 300 song collection in his lifetime. Ari, take it away. <laughs>
Before we close out tonight's performance, I would like to again provide you a glimpse of how much of an impact Save the Music and Song Farm had to help bring this program to the next level. The video you're about to see is our thank you to them and a hopeful recruitment tool for the future of this program. Please enjoy not just from me, but from the words of our admin, teachers, and students. To me, uh, William Fleming in particular means a place of love, of caring, particularly of uh, young people, uh, to try to help them persevere through struggle uh, and to be successful uh, on the other side. I think Roanoke City Public Schools uh, does a great job uh, in preparing our students uh, for a future outside of the school system and in the real world. Hello, my name is Robert Rigby. I am the electronic music teacher here at William Fleming High School. And we are the recipients of the 2020 Save the Music Song Farm Music Tech Grant. When I first came here three years ago, the program was underdeveloped. The kids had a grasp into the technology aspect of music, but we were limited to a small amount of musical equipment. We had a class set of 17 MIDI controllers that had to be shared amongst four classes, computers that barely held a charge after one class, and really just some limited exposure to real world situations. It was February of 2020, I received a text message from our fine arts coordinator, Carrie Gates, telling me basically to call as soon as possible to some good news. So I gave her a call and found out that we were going to be the recipients of a new music tech grant from Say the Music and Song Farm. My initial reaction was just a pure shock, joy and excitement because I had been budgeting for the next 10 years to be able to obtain the same amount of equipment that we were gonna get in a few months time. I just knew for a fact that this upcoming school year was gonna be incredible. And then March of 2020 came. And the kids were just devastated and confused about what to do. I was just trying to keep them hopeful and on a track to finish the year strong. This entire time, I was just trying to keep secret all the good news I was getting we received our first parcel of equipment in August and unfortunately could not bring students to help unload the equipment. But we organized everything so that my advanced class could be the first ones to view and touch the equipment when school resumed. I can still remember to this day those smiles that lit up the room and had probably been continuing throughout this entire year since I and that equipment that very first day. My name is Chris Nelson and I'm in 12th grade. My name is Jaden Moyer and I'm in the 11th grade. I'm Malik Wallace and I'm in 11th grade. Ari Spencer, I'm in the 10th grade. My name is Jackson Reed and I'm in the 11th grade. Uh, my name is Kat McLean and I am the choir director and electronic music teacher here at William Fleming High School. My name is Rayan Deskins and I'm acting principal at William Fleming High School. I've been here since freshman year. Almost two years now. Freshman year? Basically six months. So this is my first year. Honestly, for a couple months, I was kind of just put in here out of nowhere. I don't play any instruments, but I've always been real interested in music, and I've always tried to mess with beats, even as a little kid. I've been learning to play the piano for a little bit over two years now. Since I was three, I've been playing the drums. Uh, I played a little bit of piano. I'm starting guitar now. My experience before this class was me going to Sunday, playing instruments from my dad at church. Working with FL by myself in my room. So just making beats. I didn't really have no knowledge. I just knew music and just the songs and the artists. And that's about it. I took this class because I wanted to know what it means to be a producer. Because I wanted to learn how music works and the detail, every detail of it. Because I wanted to take music more seriously. 
so I can learn how to mix better with my music efficient and clear. This class taught me a lot of things about mixing I didn't know. I didn't realize how important mixing was until this class. It taught me when to when to be serious about music and when to like just play around with it. Different genres of music. It's taught me so much. It's taught me how to make music, how to look at music, rather than from a person that listens to a person that creates. I've made a lot of rap music. I've been home and just making a bunch of beats and rapping over them and then deleting them and then do it again. That's my favorite kind of music. Old school hip hop or old school R&B. I made hip hop, trap, R&B, trap, old hip hop, dubstep a little bit. Country, the pop, to rock, to rap, trap. Rock, um, heavy metal rock. This has influenced a lot of the projects that we've done in my class, and it has given a lot of my students the opportunity to do things that they wouldn't get to do anywhere else. If I, the pandemic never happened, then I probably wouldn't be in this class. I probably would have been, I could have opted into a gym class, but it's impacted me positively because I have to be here. I think this pandemic has taught me to be a little more comfortable with what I'm putting out. It kept me focused. Focus more on my music and take it more seriously. It helped me, you know, mentally. And you're gonna be taking over. Some things are gonna be taken away from you, but you just gotta learn to take it and move on. The pandemic has really caused me to have to think outside of the box and to be creative um, music-wise. And it's also really kind of forced me to focus on creating those relationships with my students um, so that I can be a better teacher for them and be there for them in this time for them. patient with me because I came in late, he's taught me so much things, he's an awesome teacher. Get your mind going, make you stay focused. You know how to get your work side going. He's the best, definitely. He makes it fun, makes it relatable. He gives us opportunities to actually take what we learn and using it in real life. Like, he definitely encourages it. For me personally, uh, as a lover of music, a former DJ myself, and a, a dabbler in various instruments, uh, this grant means the world. Uh, to be able personally to come in here and you know play some of the instruments and play some of the equipment uh, has been uh, not only a stress reliever but also uh, an artistic outlet for myself and you know for our students uh, it, it, it means the world to be able to come in here and see them practicing their craft you know not roaming the halls but to come in here and excited about coming in here even during the pandemic uh, students have been coming in to try to play with the, the equipment, to, to make their own music, and to express themselves artistically. Uh, it, it helps them get through this, this tough time that we're going through right now. I think what this grant means to me was when we met Ross and Nicole for the first time on Zoom in September. Everybody in Roanoke, wow, Fleming, this is amazing, guys. Seeing some of my students involve themselves in the Save the Music Masterclasses, where we have met many famous producers, songwriters, CEOs, artists, and having them answer the questions that are on the minds of my students have really brought so much joy and inspiration to them. Music is so important now more than ever for our youth of today. To see their potential in themselves, these students deserve it. These future students deserve it. It's so important because again, it provides that artistic expression uh, that outlet for them, and it also helps them to connect, I think, to their core subjects uh, as well. Um, if they're feeling excited about coming to music class and they learn something in music, they can translate that in, in, into a math class as well as to a social studies class and definitely an English class uh, as it relates to lyrics and poetry and, and word choice and wordplay. Our students deserve the highest quality music education that we can provide for them so that they can reach their highest potential. Have fun with it. Take it serious when it needs to be serious, but overall have fun with it. Learn as many instruments as you can. Never stop learning music. Never stop picking up instruments, trying it, playing around with it. The more instruments you know, 
better producer you'll be in my opinion. If something don't go right, move on to the next thing. And don't ever give up just because something didn't go right the first time. Always give it another try. Stay focused, stay on your grind. Don't give up, you know what I'm saying? Be yourself, don't try to be anybody else. Create, be you. Start pursuing um, music right away, whether you want to sing or play an instrument or be a producer, create music. Um, you need to get started as soon as possible. And with that, that goes with taking classes or uh, taking lessons right away as soon as possible. It's never too soon because um, you don't want to look back one day and wish that you had done it differently. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Uh, you're constantly learning uh, in, in music. You're constantly improving. Um, and so don't be scared to make mistakes. Don't be scared to stand out. Uh, and also be supportive. If you're with a group of friends and you all are playing music and somebody messes up, be supportive and encouraging uh, of that process because it's in the mistakes sometimes that we make our, our best creations. Thank you. Save the music and song form. God bless y'all and love y'all. Thank you, Save the Music and Song Farm. You have definitely made an impact for everybody here in Roanoke, for all the kids that are trying to aspire to be producers, music creators, songwriters. Thank you for all of it. I want to thank Save the Music and Song Farm from this, for this big opportunity, and it's been much appreciated. Thank you, Save the Music and Song Farm. This has been a great grant for all the kids that's making music now. Thank you, Save the Music. You've impacted my life so much. Thank you. Uh, we want to say thank you so much to Save the Music and Song Farm for all of the amazing opportunities you've brought to our school and to our students. Uh, I would like to say a, a very big, big thank you, uh, not only from myself, but to the entire William Fleming staff at Save the Music and Song Farm. Uh, we greatly appreciate the support you've given uh, to us and to our students. Uh, it, it will not go unused, uh, and it will only expand in the future. Thank you so much. Save the Music and Song Farm, you have brought such a powerful light to my students and I that I know will never stop shining. Thank you, Ross. Thank you, Nicole, and all the members of Song Farm for what you've done, for the passion and the love of music and the advocacy of it. And thank you, everyone. And let's continue to keep music alive. Don't.